What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here. Delarose.com. That's D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. If you are interested in good comics, want to support an independent alternative, get something good, have a fun story, very highly rated, pick up the AI Wars. It's my new comic. It's science fiction. It's got an allegory against big tech overreach. It's a lot of fun. Tons of action. You will absolutely love this if you love comics. So support the channel. Go to Amazon. The link is in the description below. Today's story is pretty interesting. There is a rumor going around about DC Comics and that DC Comics is going to be selling off a lot of their properties, or at least the licenses for making comic books. There's rumors that Warner Brothers is losing money and hemorrhaging because of kind of a failure of the DC movies compared to Marvel. And as such, they're cutting their least profitable ventures, which is the publishing division, as they've had so many problems in the past. They've cut their line, I think, by a third this year. It's been out of control. It's just been very bizarre stuff. It got exacerbated last year when DC decided to cut ties with Diamond Comics and start their own distribution. Well, that turned into quite the cluster, as it did when Marvel did this in the 90s. It nearly collapsed the comic book industry. I don't know if a lot of people remember this, but the 90s was huge. Everything was going swimmingly. Marvel starts its own distributor and doesn't know how to do distribution well, screws up a lot of schedules and things like that, and the comic industry really just collapsed heavily overnight, uh, mainly because of their ineptitude there. Well, DC's really loving to follow Marvel's trends. They're doing that with their distribution. I went to a local comic book shop, gosh, a couple weeks ago, and he told me he hasn't been even able to get a DC comic book onto his shelves in months, and he's like, I don't really care about much, but, you know, the Batman books are, are a pretty big seller for the store, and that's pretty bad. Uh, and it is pretty bad. He's finally starting to get them back in now. They seem to have resolved a little bit of their problems and their woes for the moment. But they're pushing content much like the Marvel Now initiative, where they were trying to do these replacement characters, which killed Marvel's sales three, four years ago. They're doing the same thing with DC Future State, where they're putting replacement heroes of all of their beloved characters I don't know why they don't look at history and be like, this company did this, it didn't work for them, let's not do the same thing. Seems pretty obvious, but oh well, that's the comic industry. These are not good business people. <laughs> We've learned that at this point, if anything. All right, so the rumor here, which is on the Arkhaven blog, which I write occasionally for, but this is wrote, written by a fellow named Dark Harold, who's a great guy. He says that there's a rumor that Diamond Distributors is buying DC Comics, and he talks about uh, the history involved here and possibly what uh, is happening scenario-wise, and it's developing. The rumor was started by Bleeding Cool, of course, which is uh, you know an internet gossip website, but as after such, there's been a lot of validation to those rumors around the internet. Uh, Rob Liefeld implied there's something going on that seems like there's actually something going on. Uh, Jimmy Pamiola, Paul, how do I pronounce that guy's name? <laughs> a DC Comics writer uh, also implied that there's something similar going on. So we can kind of take stock in the fact that DC really is going under. Uh, Ethan Van Skyver called this a while back, and <laughs> it looks like uh, his prophecy is coming true. A lot of people gave him grief at the time, actually myself included, because I thought there's no way AT&T will do this. But uh, it turns out he's probably right. Now, I had a fellow Dinesh uh, Sham Dasani, who is the founder of Bad Idea Comics. They're a new comic publisher out there. He's the founder of uh, Valiant uh, from a while back. And he actually wrote uh, a more cynical analysis of this, that DC is trying to raise money from its fans to publish their own books uh, because they you know, are, are so inept, so they're just trying to milk the, the pay pigs at this point, which is very interesting. Uh, that, those were not his exact words, by the way, but I'm paraphrasing to make it sound a little worse than he put it. But, uh, you know, he has inside information into the comic industry that few others do. So that's a very interesting analysis as well. I really hope DC Comics come up for license. I would love to be able to license some of these characters. And I think uh, if there's an ability to license something like The Question or The Creeper, any of Steve Ditko's creations, uh, we might actually be able to get that going around here. Because, I mean, who's going to uh, do a better job with that? Uh, and then somebody who actually cares about Ditko's work a lot more than these DC people do. I'm excited. But, of course, unfortunately, it's going to be out of the reach of the common person is kind of how these things go. I really liked this Amazon initiative regarding uh, sort of uh, doing your own fan fiction worlds and being able to get paid for it. 
They called it Amazon Worlds, and it was done, or Kindle Worlds, I'm sorry. It was done several years ago, and Valiant Comics actually was a part of this, and you could make your own content, put it up there. Valiant gets a cut, Amazon gets a cut, and then you get to write your characters that you love. So that's kind of an interesting business model. Now, now there weren't enough big properties involved in that to really make it float on the Kindle side. They, they had to support this for some random stuff that people were making up, and it just didn't really have the gravitas to it to succeed. But if there's a model where DC can actually license out some of these characters and you can just buy a license real quick and do your own thing, we really could see a growth in creativity in comics like we've never seen before. And I encourage that sort of thing. I love creativity. All right, let me know what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.